What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and if you've been watching the channel, then you know my favorite pick of the year was, keyword was, the CZ P10M. And the reason for that was it was a budget price CZ. I got it for under $300. It's got a great finish on it. It's got a great everyday carry trigger. It's a light carry option. Like I said, just good CZ quality. Um, and for that price, you really can't pass it up. You really can't beat it because you're paying a budget price, but getting something that performs above a budget price is known to be reliable and so on. But something has come up since that has definitely overtaken it. And that's going to be my Springfield Armory Hellcat. Not the Hellcat I owned before, but the stainless steel version. Now you're going to say it's not optics ready. That's okay. I don't plan on running optics on this. Um, I like optics on some firearms and then other light carry options. I don't like optics on just like I like flashlights on certain options I have and I don't like them on other options. I just make my setups for what I'm going to be using that firearm for. Now the reason I like this so much is the Springfield Army Hellcat is my second favorite firearm ever. I don't care that it's made in Croatia. People are buying firearms from Turkey, um, Austria, I mean basically everywhere. And people like them, but all of a sudden because Springfield's made, some of their firearms are made in Croatia and then imported here, it makes it bad for some reason. Even though I have four or five Springfield Armies, they've all ran reliably through about 18 to 20,000 rounds between all of them. Not a single issue. Not one hiccup, not one malfunction, nothing. Not a light primer strike. <laughs> I mean, not, and it's unbelievable. But yet, people talk down on it. The Hellcat's one of the most durable, reliable firearms out there. No recalls on it, nothing like that. Yes, you're going to see people who have malfunctions and issues with it online and stuff, but that's a very small percent of the population. When there's a recall, that's thousands and thousands and thousands of firearms. The GX4 was just pulled from the shelves at my local range, and my local FFL won't even put it up on his website anymore. Um, and that's just for you know personal preference, but that's why budget firearms are a little sketchy But you get something like this, you know, it's gonna run you know It's gonna be reliable and look how beautiful now my favorite color combo on any firearm is stainless steel with a black frame If you know me, that's my go-to Then on top of that Like I said the Hellcat being my second favorite firearm of all time. This is right up my alley This is good to go right out of the box. You already have a night sight front um, a good trigger on it You have a rail for a firearm this small and a nice rail you also have these little memory pads and indents that help you fight recoil. The thing is just perfect. Also, you can get the 15 round mag for it, which I have like three or four of them. It's just the awesome, awesome quality of Springfield Armory, plus that stainless steel that does it for me. Someone said that they're copying the Glock 43X and 48. As if there was no stainless steel firearms before the 43X and the 48. And that was only for a limited time. I know about you know, out of every firearm that I've ever seen, majority of them come in a stainless steel slide except for Glocks. You can find them in SIG, Springfield Armory, um, Smith & Wesson. They're just trying to mix up the color combinations. It's not a big deal, but to be honest, the finish is unbelievable. Look at that. And because there's no optic, I haven't had a Springfield um, Hellcat without an optic. Check out that texturing. It's just cool. It's not, a, you don't need it. It's not practical, but it's just very cool. Awesome looking firearm. And when people talk about firearms and looks not matter, I, I disagree. They matter to an extent. If the firearm is reliable and already passes that test and you like shooting it, next up is honestly going to be how it looks because you don't want to carry something you think is ugly or stupid or you know whatever all day long. So you gravitate towards something that you do find attractive and that you do take pride in and that's going to be the thing that protects your life, your kid's life and so on. And to be honest, I would trust the Hellcat. If I could just have one firearm other than the Glock 26, I'm taking my Hellcat 10 out of 10 times. The thing has just done wonders for me. A, a certain round called the Novex round, it's like 65 grains. It uses, I believe, a steel cased, um, a steel casing. And I've had issues out of my Glocks. I've had issues out of my SIGs with it. I think I had issues out of my one of my everyday carry Glock 26s. Guess the one firearm that ran flawlessly through hundreds of them, my Springfield Army Hellcat. It just eats everything you put through it, spits it out without a single hiccup. I ran it dirty. I ran it clean. I've literally ran under terrible conditions and it always runs. That's my other Hellcat though. So we gotta test this thing, make sure this is reliable, but other than that, this thing's just beautiful. That's my favorite pickup of the year, Springfield Armory Hellcat and stainless steel.